Good morning, guys. It's uh, beginning of day four. We're going down the home stretch. <laughs> Get to head home here in two days. Um, not so sure if I like that or not, but I'll figure it out. Uh, we're going to hopefully finish our job today and then we'll start the new one. And uh, I'm not sure how much the next job will have, but. Well, hopefully we'll get it done by the end of the week, and we'll be heading home here on Saturday. See, we'll uh, talk to you again during lunch break or after we get out of work, whichever one. Uh, talk to you then. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to the break room. This is where we go on break, which we are doing right now, may I remind you. But uh, We're not just yeah. slacking. Yeah, we're not just slacking. But, uh, okay, this is one of my favorite things of this whole place. Watch this, okay? I, I have not put any money in here before. Okay, watch. They're free. <laughs> you see this? This is, this is real candy box. Watch, watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it, it's oh, candy. Yeah. But yeah, and then there's free. the drink machine and their free thing. Free. They're free too, yeah, so. Yeah, free stuff over here. Got some peanuts, big yeah, jar of Tabasco giant sauce. Thing of Tabasco sauce. But yeah, and they've got coffee, coffee. And I think there's tea bags around. Yeah, they're yeah. over there. Th this hot chocolate. This place has everything. I mean everything. Okay, you come over here. Oh, right here, right here. Here's where they put it. They have games. They have games for when you're on break. Now this one, I've been trying to beat all day. You take it, and then you open it up a little bit, and the weight of the ball takes it down. And I'm terrible at it, but yeah. Yeah, they got games, candy, but food. Yeah, this place is seriously the best place. Best place. We come over here. They've got this, which is just drinks. completely stocked with water, just they got completely. Some drinks down there. And there's little things. But uh, as it stands right now, uh, tonight we're gonna show you the prayer walk, as long as it's not raining. Or too dark by or then. Too dark, but we'll, we'll get it probably as soon as we get out. And that, that'll that count as our nightly um, vlog. Hey guys, yeah. as I promised, we're gonna go over the prayer walk today. And uh, it turns out I'm going home early tomorrow because we ran out of work. So this is our last vlog, sadly. I might do one tomorrow. Well, Maybe. Elijah might do one. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go over to the prayer walk. And uh, it's pretty cool. It goes over their specific region, their regions specifically. And uh, this one is Eurasia. And under it says, Then he said to them all, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Luke 9.23. And as you can see, you have this beautiful surrounding. You have this wonderful pond. You just have all this stuff. It pretty much just summarizes how awesome this place is, and it's. I, I went I went through here a couple times, and it's really peaceful just to walk through here and pray. And um, we uh, kind of walked around here, we take a little bit, <coughs> yeah. kind of, while we walked through here. But uh, just as you can see, it just goes all the way around the pond, and you got the. Beautiful sunset over here. Yeah, the skies are always like this, by the, the way. The skies always. They've been like this all week. Like, even in the after evening. the storm, you'll come out here and you and got it's this just beautiful, like, sunset. You just can't every see the day. Sun. Every day. It's been like this. The sky is painted pink. And you have, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, breathtaking a little <laughs> bit. And they have. All these giant rocks around it. I don't know how long that had to take. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but they have, uh, how many is it? is it? It's seven, right? Uh, around there. Seven. I think. I, I don't know. I think you'd call them plaques. I guess. And they have their specific regions. Uh, Voice of the Martyrs is literally everywhere across the world. It's literally, they just go everywhere. And they do pretty much. It's... If it wasn't for Voice of the Martyrs, Christianity would not be going as well as it would in other countries. hostile slash uh, restricted areas. <clears throat> and over here is another one of the regions. It's uh, Latin America. 
And this one says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. Romans 1.16. I don't know, I just find it awesome that they have all those verses under there because pretty much all those are my favorite verses. <laughs> That's what I think I found about Voice of the Martyrs. Every single one of their verses is like one of my favorite verses. But then again, I have a lot of favorite verses, so you never really know. <clears throat> and as you see over there, that's a building that we work, work in. in. Is this? But due to security reasons, we, we, are, not we are not allowed to go to inside. Show the inside. Not really. We got the paper shredder, but that was pretty much it. That was it because we had it in the corner. You just can't look <clears throat> at anything else. So I'm, I'm sorry. I, at the beginning of the week, I remembered. I promised that I'd show you the inside, but we're not allowed because there are. <laughs> The security guy wasn't here, so we're not sure. Yeah, Jake, we asked Just Jake, and he, he said that his security guy wasn't here, and he didn't want to take any chances. Uh, it was even questionable to ask Jake if he wanted to. Get in front of a camera yeah. and talk to us. So we were blessed to have that. We were very blessed to be able to have Jake in our interview. Plus, plus Drake, Jake's an all-around awesome guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's, he's let us do all kinds of cool stuff, and he's kept this week exciting and fun. But, like, if any of you guys ever come here... Literally, it's just like we're doing, and you'll see all this stuff. Tell Jake we sent you. Yeah, tell Jake we sent you. <laughs> but everybody here is They've been the nicest nice. people. I mean, look at this. Just look at that. Just Doesn't that just make you think? <laughs> it's just mine. Uh, Mind-blowing. It makes it's you just, think how God can gee. do that. You can just picture God up there uh, every, every night just, just painting the sunset. It's just amazing. And here they have Asia and Pacific. This says, So they departed from the, the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Acts 5.41. That's, that's another thing. <clears throat> the people that do this, when they're persecuted, not only are they being persecuted for Christ, but they are happy about it. Us here in America, we have no clue how blessed we are that we can just walk into a church and praise God. Those people over in all those restricted and uh, hostile areas, they can't do that. There's a chance that they could die just by being there. I mean, there's this story, um, it was over in uh, uh, Eurasia? Probably. Yeah, Eurasia. These people came in, they got the pastor and they beat him almost to the point of death. And then they uh, put all the burnables in the middle of the church. And then they threw the guy in and burned him alive. In America, we don't even have the courage to go and talk to people about Christ. It just blows my mind. And here we have uh, South Asia. And this one says, and they overcome him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. And they, and they did not love their lives to death. Revelations 12, 11. And that's again saying, not only <laughs> are they going through the persecution, they enjoy it. They know that they're doing it for God. And you know, if I was gonna choose how I was gonna die, dying for Christ would be at the top of my list. Um, There's a, a goose. Yeah, there so is a lot of goose or geese around here. Yeah. So yeah, just another thing. But yeah, they're they're, they're pretty nice. Yeah, we're Let's, like five feet away from. Hey guys, we're gonna go over here. Yeah, we can go check that. And we're gonna show you just a couple of the stories. Before they we have. Before all we these, continue. All these stories, and they'll tell you we have a uh, one more. Yeah, we have one more over there. But well, I, I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't hardly take reading this earlier. It's just. It goes through all the martyrs and... Well, not all of them, but a well, lot of them. Not all of them. It goes through just just a few of them. You can't even you can't even count all of the martyrs. I believe they call us just the martyr's wall. This place is beautiful. Uh, let me also explain something. Being a martyr is not just dying for something. It's any persecution that you face. Well, it's it's it comes from the Greek word that means wizard, or witness. Witness. So, so I mean... They said the ultimate wisdom, or wit, 
witness, witness for Christ would be to die for the cause. Henceforth, so. martyr. So, yeah. So, if you come over here, just, you look at all of these. I'm not sure if you can, we'll get up to close to a couple and so you can read them. Just, <laughs> unheard of, unheard of ways to die. It's just terrible. And there's just people like these, just burned at the stake. It's like, just, it's ridiculous to think that stuff like this happens. And there's people like this, that not only are they dying, but they're taking it. And they're just, they're fine with it. You see, these people, not only do they see their death is coming, but they'll use that. They'll use that to light a fire for everyone else. You can't stop out, stomp out Christianity. It just burns. You grow it. It doesn't stop. If you come over here, just all these... I mean, stuff like this. Burnt the stake, and it was set low, so he had to sit there for six hours before dying. It's... It's ridiculous. And, and this... Death is the happiest day of our lives. We must rejoice in it more than anything because it is our arrival in our true homeland. And here we are, we were afraid of a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> That's, people would do anything to die that way. These people, they really suffer as much as they can and they're happy about it. I just can't comprehend that. That's, that's one of the reasons why I want to be a missionary. I mean, there's something, it's, I've never wanted something so dangerous and so scary, but yet I've never wanted it so more. It's just, I don't know, this, this summarization of everything here, <laughs> it literally, if you're not a grown Christian, you'll, you'll be one by the time you get out of here. <laughs> This place, literally, <laughs> you're in such a good environment, it's it, almost impossible not to grow. It's intense. The, <laughs> the chapel, all it was was stories about how people have gone through persecution and how they even accepted it and they were happy with it. Only, only God can bring you true happiness, and these people are a true example of that. Now, I, I apologize that this is long, but you're getting some good stuff here. <laughs> um, I mean, like we said, the skies, just every night. Just look at that. It's just... Every night, on the dot. Ridiculous. <laughs> I've never seen skies like that, especially not that consistently. It's literally been every single night. <laughs> Even after... Okay. One of the questions Even asked after, when, the, when we got here was, why pick here? It's like, why not? I mean... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, and uh, here's the last one, and I'm going to talk about this. This is the Middle East. This, this is where the largest, gro uh, uh, largest ratio of Christians are be becoming Christians. <sighs> and... Most of the brethren in the Lord, and having become confident by my chains, are m much more blood bold to speak the word without fear. Philippians 1.14 And now, I just want to thank you guys for watching these videos. and uh, I'm, I've been happy to show you everything that we've done. And to show you the true beauty of God's creation. And... It's been it's been an, a blast, and I'm I'm pretty sad to see it go, and uh, who knows we might know we might go next year, and if you want to go, just go ahead and come. They always need volunteers. It's one mm -hmm. of the best best organizations I've ever seen. Um, if you could pray for uh, safety on the travels back, and just thank you for everything you've done for us, and uh, I think. I'm thinking we're going to work on a new movie here pretty soon before too long probably probably two or three weeks after we get back because mm -hmm. we got <laughs> I'm going out for uh, CEF 
uh, Child Evangelism Fellowship, and I'm going to be gone most of summer. Uh, also, pray for that because I need a lot of help in many ways in that area. But I'll be going out and I'll preach in five day. Well, not preaching, but I'll be uh, showing five day clubs. But if you guys could just pray everything goes well and just thank you for everything you do. And always remember, God's with you. God will protect you. Be bold. Don't let anything get in your way. And I will see you all next time. And thank you for everything you do. See you guys.